Hi there, my name's Mike Nutt uh, and I'm a games writer, designer and developer based in the UK. For many years I've been involved in card design and curating the direction of Vitez. And in addition to Vitez, I've also been behind several other published games, including Waggle Dance, Dice Hospital, the soon to be released Dice Theme Park and the original official vampire board game Prince of the City. I've also contributed a little bit of writing to the Vampire 5th Edition role-playing game. I'm really excited to see this campaign go live and to get a chance to see these card sets get an official print run. These card sets are important, not just because of my involvement in them, but because they represent the hard work the VKN team put into continuing the game and supporting the player community during the game's third sojourn into the wilderness while it was out of print and without support. And if it wasn't for the strong interest by the player community in the work of Ben Peel and myself and the rest of the team, then Black Chantry may never have been founded and the 5th edition core set for Vitez may never have been printed. When we approached the design of these sets, uh, we tried very hard to serve the known stories of the classic world of darkness. We sifted through many role-playing game books and fiction novels looking for characters that had never been represented before. We also thought hard about the meter game and the competitiveness of different clans and sects. And while these card sets may not be perfect, I think we did do a lot to boost the viability of the Sabbat, uh, Anox and, and other independent clans and creating new kinds of decks. To call out a few of my favourite cards from these sets, I'm a big fan of Karif Al Numir, uh, a great piece of art by Ginez on, on the card, and, and in play, uh, he's a real hard ass. Uh, I also like Dark Selena, uh, who's drawn from the, the first edition role playing supplement to Dark Colony, um, but who also supports uh, a new sort of uh, archetype for a Brujo into Tribu uh, with uh, multi action and outferior fortitude. And Mimia is also a great card that I really like. Um, maybe a bit controversial when he first appeared and still a bit of a talking point. So yeah, a great star vampire that's seeing a lot of play. Brynhilda Advanced and the Valkyrie are also worth a mention. As they originated from the Ragnarok storyline we created for the European Championship when it was in Stockholm in 2013. Uh, and it's also good to finally see Count Jokolo, a major antagonist from the, the Giovannical Chronicles from the role-playing game, finally get the, the Vitez treatment. Uh, and I mustn't forget Matasuntha, uh, another great star vampire, uh, another combat monster, yeah, who's uh, yeah, a great star vampire for yeah, uh, many combat decks. In terms of trying to do interesting things with uh, library cards, I'm really proud of Zephyr uh, and Funeral Wake. Uh, I appreciate that some players don't consider them top tier cards, but uh, they are cards, uh, interesting cards, uh, that let make you think about deck construction a little differently, and that they build new kinds of decks. Uh, the Celerity's Zephyr card, uh, sets up uh, the idea of wanting to be blocked, or, or, you know, or if, if you are blocked it's not the end of the world. Uh, and Funeral Wake uh, is a handy card for, for many kinds of ally decks. Please do pledge to receive these cards. Uh, the proceeds don't just go to Black Chantry, they also fund the team's ability to commission new amazing artwork uh, and to make more new cards that will keep the world of Vitez growing uh, and evolving. Happy hunting, and maybe I'll see you at a Vitez table soon. Uh, maybe at the European Championship. But goodbye for now.